Okay, today we're going to take a look at generating an Android application using PhoneGap, and we'll be doing this from scratch. So we'll show you how to build a basic PhoneGap project that you can work with. So go to PhoneGap.com, go to Developer, and under Downloads you'll see all of the downloads. So the current version right now is 2.7.0 and all the different archives are down here. You may not want to work with the latest release. You may want to work with a release that you know that works with the plugins that you're using in your PhoneGap project. So whichever one you want, just download it. And, and um, in my case, I've already done that and I've loaded it onto my desktop. So we see the folder with all of the different files in it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open that up. Um, from here, you open up uh, this lib folder and you'll see all the different platforms that are supported by this version of PhoneGap. So I'm going to open the Android folder up and we're going to look within the bin folder and we see the create program. That's what we want to run. We want to run create to generate all the files associated with this basic project. So let's look at how we do that. We're going to launch terminal and the first thing I want to do is I want to make this uh, bin directory my current directory. So to do that I'm going to type in cd space and then we're just going to drag and drop bin in and you'll see the full path was just uh, appended. And I'll go ahead and hit enter and that's now my current working directory. So if I type in pwd which stands for print working directory you can see oh yeah I'm in the, the user's desktop uh, phone gap 2.7.0 lib android bin. That's where I want to be. So from here we're going to run create. So we enter in dot slash create and now we're going to enter in three parameters. The first being the folder name. Now I'm going to use a little shortcut here. So this is where we want to put this project. That tilde character represents the user's home directory. So it's just a little shortcut to know about. So I'll say within the user's home directory uh, off the desktop folder I want to create something called my Android app that's the folder we're going to create and everything's going to be all these assets will be in there then from there we have to enter in the bundle identifier in this case I'll use and this is in reverse domain notation so I'll enter in com dot alpha software dot and we'll say my app and then we'll call the app um, my cool app go ahead and hit enter it's going to generate all those files and it's done that you can see the folder over here we're now done with terminal I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just we can just close that out we can close out finder and um, let's go look at what's in that folder so um, in here we see the all of the files associated with this phone gap application but unlike uh, under iOS and Xcode there's not a project here I can just click on and go and launch uh, the Android developer tools so I've got to import these into a, a new project so let's see how we do that let's go ahead and fire up uh, clips with the Android developer tools you can download these from Google and from here we're going to go say we want to create full we'll go file new project and we're going to want to say we we are going to want to uh, do an Android project from existing code so just say next there and then browse to your folder that you just created my Android app we'll go ahead and open that up finish that off and sure enough now we can see we're within this project and so within this assets directory and the www folder is all of the local files that could drive this Android application. In our case, uh, since the alpha, um, say the index file of your page is probably going to be pulled from a remote server, you want to go into uh, this res folder, go into XML, into config.xml. In this case, I'm going to say open this with a text editor and in here you can see let me just scroll down a little bit this content source in this case now it says index.html you might want to point, point that to your alpha 5 server so http colon and then you know your domain name or IP address and then your a5w page and then that's what's going to load as as the startup on your uh, application itself so uh, here we've we've shown you how to uh, generate uh, a 
a phone gap application for Android. I'm not going to show you this running in the emulator because it's dreadfully slow. So if you want to do any Android development, you want to make sure you work with a device. Uh, it's very different than the development in Xcode where the uh, in Xcode the iPhone and iPad uh, emulators are very fast. In uh, Android, they're just horribly slow, so don't even bother trying to use them. Get yourself, make sure you're working with an Android device and do all your debugging there. Uh, thanks so much. I hope you learned something.